on and the baleen. But um, and I I knew the parts of a whale, but to be honest, I never really realized they had tongues. I knew they had baleen. I knew that they you know they angle all that food that they push it up and the water comes out through the baleen. But I never knew they had tongues. So when I first went down and I was walking around it, I couldn't figure out what this was. And it dawned on me that it was the tongue. And the tongue was just fascinating to me because it was so enormous. I'm telling you, the tongue you is, see, is this, was as big as this. I'm um, fond of that. So you can weigh on the baleen and the jaw and the top jaw. It was both an exhilarating experience and it was extremely sad. It, you know, just was at its at its prime. It was fully it was a fully grown female. Um, and it's the second largest animal on the face of the planet, you know, above dinosaurs. So, um, the process was to find out why it died. So the well, the first thing we did was take a postage size, postage stamp size, a section of skin for the DNA. That alone blew me away. You know, you can tell all these things from DNA now. It's a little, little tiny sample. And then we uh, measured it with 60, a little over 60 feet. Measured everything. Measured the eyeball, measured the baleen, measured, counted all the grooves on its stomach the length of its slippers, um, the girth, the flutes, everything. And uh, the technician, Brandy, is uh, in the red sweatshirt. She was kind of heading the whole thing. And then we went through, um, we had to get all the blubber off. So it was really like just slicing down in sections, and like a banana, <coughs> peeling, peeling blubber down in order to get to the muscles, in order to get to the internal organs. And that took hours. It was so tedious that it was just off, you know, hand knife. Just cutting and cutting and peeling back, hooking, hooking the blubber and pulling it. I don't find that thing. And then once it was, you know, a picture of it all peeled down. Uh, I didn't put that.